Now in today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you how to get the pearl white rims in GTA 5 online. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe for more GTA 5 online glitches after it's a patch 1.50. We're on our road to 30,000 subscribers, so make sure you smash that sub button. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button as well. Let's go ahead and get straight into this GTA 5 online glitch on how to get the pearl white rims like you guys saw in today's thumbnail all right now before we start this glitch off i'm telling you guys that i do have an instagram for the channel so if you guys just want to go ahead and follow it so you can enter in giveaways and also get a chance to contact me it's right here on the screen it's for Ozzy glitches so like i said let's go ahead and follow that and you guys have a chance to talk to me or be entering giveaways easy as that so let's go ahead and get straight into this glitch all right so let's go ahead and get straight into this white rims glitch so you guys are gonna have to have a sand king xl in order to spawn this truck in right here because this is the only truck in the whole entire game with white rims right here so if you don't know where to get a vapid sand king xl let's go ahead and go on the internet on your phone go to challenge transport Go to Southern San Andreas. And scroll all the way down to the bottom until you guys see this truck. Now, it is a very popular truck because it's lifted up in the air. And it's been in the game since day one. So, this is the truck right here. $45,000. It's pretty cheap. So, let's go ahead and call it in. And you want to come to this location on the map. Now, once you come to this location, make sure it is between. 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. on your phone in GTA time. And when you come here with that Vapid XL, you guys will either spawn this orange truck or this blue truck that's sitting right beside me. You do not want this blue truck, so if you see this blue truck, all you want to do is just go ahead, take this round I'm taking, and eventually it'll keep on spawning trucks over and over until you guys get this orange one with the white ramps. So, we're gonna convert these white rims to another car and then we're gonna go ahead have them pearl white rims like you guys saw on the thumbnail so I'm gonna show you that later on in the video but first we're gonna try to spawn this orange truck for you guys so I'll show you what I'm talking about let's go ahead and take the route I'm taking to try to make this truck spawn once you come here with that Vapid XL. Alright, so go ahead and take a left up here and we'll be right around the corner from Larry's RVs, which is where the Saint King spawns. So go ahead and take a left here. And you guys see, it's another Sand King, but it's still the blue one. Like I said, we're gonna want the orange one to spawn here because it has the white rims we need. So just keep on doing that route over and over until you guys can get this orange Sand King XL with the white rims to spawn. Now once you have got it, all you wanna do is just go ahead and take it to the arena. So I'll meet back with you guys when we get to the arena. All right, now that you have managed to get this orange truck with the white rims inside your arena, all you want to do from here is just go ahead, get inside of it, and you guys are going to do the car to RC. So if you guys don't know how to do that, we're going to show you that right now. So go ahead, hit right on D-pad to modify your vehicle. What are we doing what can I do? All you want to do is just go ahead, buy something on the car. We're just going to buy window tent since it's cheap. And just go ahead and exit the vehicle. Now, what you want to do is just go ahead and make your way in front of your RC car. Pull up your phone, go to contacts, and you want to call Simeon. And once you call Simeon, just go ahead and request a job. And I'll be back with you guys when he gives us a job. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and pull up that job list. And pull up Simeon's job. Hold pause, let go. Hit X, you guys should click in the background. Go ahead, get online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go to missions, and start up a, a tight number job. Now, as soon as we load into a tight number job, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So, 
So just go ahead, hit circle, hit quit. As soon as you get this alert, go ahead and accept it and start spamming around D-pad. And you should keep see your character move off to the right. And the wheel should eventually transfer if you guys keep on trying it over and over again. Now it may work for you the first try, it may work for the tenth try. You guys just gotta keep on doing it. Now I give it a max two tries before you join a new session. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again. If it doesn't work, we're just gonna go ahead and find new lobbies. So let's go ahead, pull up that C-Man job, hold pause, let go, hit X. You guys start to click in the background. Go ahead, get it online. Jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created. Go to missions, start up setting up a job again. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Load into a tight never job. Hit circle to quit. As soon as you accept this, start spamming around the D-pad. Now you guys see it didn't work that time, so we're just gonna go ahead and join a new session until it works. So I'll meet back with you guys when we get in another session. Right, so we just joined a new session. Now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and grab that orange truck with the white rims and just go ahead and do the car to RC again. Got it round deep pad to modify the vehicle. What's it going to be? What are we doing then? And if you guys already have the rims on your RC, just go ahead and skip past this point. But if you don't, just go ahead and keep on following it. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead, call up Simeon again and request a job if you find a new session. Okay, wait on him to give us that job. Go ahead and pull it up on our phone. Hold pause. Let go. Hit X. You guys should click in the background. Let's go ahead. Go to online. Go to jobs. Play jobs. Rockstar created. Go to missions. Start up tighten up a job. Alright, so let's go ahead and load into the mission here. As soon as we quit, go ahead and spam around your pad. And you guys see the wheels just merged over. Easy as that. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead, quit from the mission. You wanna go to the RC Bandito and you wanna choose a different color to save it. All I wanna do is just go ahead, back out from the RC Bandito, and now your RC Bandito has the white rims. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do the RC to car. So you guys will not need this truck anymore. You guys can go ahead and sell it or just keep it just for later on if you guys want to merge it to your RC Bandito again. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. So now go ahead and grab the vehicle that you want to put white rims on. So, Alright, so you guys see I got my LH Retro Custom back. So that's ready to merge. So, now RC to car. You guys will need this X80 Proto. So we're going to go ahead and use that right now. Just gotta hit round D-pad to modify my car. What are we doing what can I do? And we're just gonna go ahead, exit the vehicle, and the door should fall off. Now, what you wanna do from here is just go ahead and take that door to the mechanic that's sitting over here. And you guys wanna try to get the door underneath the mechanic. So I'll go ahead and meet back with you guys when we get the mechanic underneath the door. Alright, now that you got him underneath the door, what you want to do is just go ahead and take him to the passenger side or driver's side door. You guys see I got him on my passenger side door right now. So once you got him in that position, all you want to do is just go ahead. Return your X80 Proto back to storage. And now you want to grab the car you want with the white rims. So mine was the LG Retro Custom. You guys see it's right here. So go ahead and right on D-pad to modify your vehicle. And all you want to do from here is just go ahead, exit the vehicle. You guys want to come over here to your RC Bandito, hit round right D-pad. And just go ahead, exit the workshop as soon as you guys get inside the menu to customize it. And now all you want to do from here is just go ahead and make sure you have 
You see me on job ready? Go ahead, delete every other job that's in your job list. So we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this RC to car merge. So we can merge the white rims onto this LG Retro Custom. Now, the first thing you guys are gonna do is just go ahead and confirm if you guys can get stuck on the mechanic by walking towards them. Now you can see I get stuck on them and it'll teleport you inside your car. So that's the first step you guys will need done. Now, second is we're gonna go ahead and do the RC2 car. So let's go ahead and walk towards the mechanic by hitting triangle or Y. As you're walking towards them, pull up that semi on job that we had earlier. Hold pause, let go, hit X, start spamming left on D-pad. Hit pause, start spamming left on D-pad. And eventually you guys will get in the car and it'll merge you over to the storage with them white rims on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again since it didn't work. Let's go ahead, walk towards the mechanic. Pull up that semi on job. Hit pause, let go, hit X, start spinning left on D-pad. Hit pause, start spinning left on D-pad. As you guys can see, the wheels just merged over. Easy as that. Now as you guys are spamming left on D-pad, you guys want to wait maybe two to three seconds and then hit pause and just keep on spamming left on D-pad. As you guys see it worked, easy as that. As soon as we can get unglitched out of the car here, show you guys that we got the white rims. Now I'm going to show you the difference between these white rims and the regular white rims that you guys can buy when you're in the mod shop. And we're gonna also put the rims on that you guys saw in the thumbnail. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the wheels, get a wheel type, go to Benny's original. And go ahead, put on the rod me up solid color. I'm going to show you the difference here, the color difference. So, this is the white they give us, and this is the modded white we have, as you guys see. It's a lot whiter than the frost white. The frost white's like gray, and the white we're using is pretty much ice white, which is a lot white. So, all we're going to do from here is just go ahead, put on that retro white wall. And these are the wheels that I had in the thumbnail. So what we're going to do from here, if you want it on another vehicle, just go ahead and do the car to RC and do the RC to car. And then you guys have these modded rims on any car that you guys want. Easy as that. So that's how you guys get these pearl white rims in GTA 5 Online. Easy as that. So guys, I hope you guys liked today's video. This has been your boy Frozzy back at another GTA 5 Online Glitch. I hope you all out. Bitch, you go.